Welcome to the Charlotte Motor Speedway for the final race of the All-Star Break, the All-Star, the actual All-Star Race. Ten drivers here compete for a bonus of eight playoff points that will be awarded tonight. Which driver will claim those playoff points? Now let's take a look here. Drivers to Watch, sponsored by Pro Gear Tires. The driver who starts on pole tonight is Austin Dillon. He's also your points leader and has dominated the series so far. He's looking to gain those playoff points, which will be crucial in the playoffs to help him advance on. Your driver who starts second tonight is Clint Boyer. He was your all-star race winner from last season, and he's looking to win his second straight all-star race here tonight. So he's going to have a tall task with many good drivers in this field tonight. One of those drivers is Alex Bowman. He's second in points, and he's been on a hot streak as of late. He's hoping that these playoff points will give him a boost he needs to make a run in the playoffs. Chase Elliott worked his way into the All-Star race with an All-Star Open win in Stage 1. He's looking to use that dominant performance to work his way up to the front and possibly win the All-Star race. And one of your biggest surprises of the All-Star Open was Daniel Suarez. He won the All-Star race, beating out Kevin Harvick. Could Daniel Suarez pull out some magic and win the All-Star race, potentially? Now let's take a look at your All-Star race format for tonight's race. As your field consisted of Season 2 winners, your Season 1 event winners based on points, your All-Star Open stage winners, and the NASCAR Thanks Hot Wheels Cup Series fan vote winner, which is Eric Almirola. There will be four stages of four laps each. The choose cone will be used in all stages. And on the last lap, the field will be inverted after every stage. So that will be very crucial to determining your winner. Speaking of the choose cone, the choose cone provided a crucial role in determining the all-star open results. As two rookies struggled, were, who were looking like to make it into the all-star race hit that cone and it just killed their chances. Here's what in stage two of the open, Tyler Reddick, who was leading the field, hits the choose cone, and that would end up costing him, and he would end up finishing last in this in stage two of the open. And then in stage three, the, the final stage, Cole Custer, this was the lap before the final lap, he's gonna hit the choose cone to eliminate him from contention of making it into the all-star race. So if you gotta be make sure you do not hit that choose cone when possible. Now let's head trackside for the Command of Fire Engines. And now, for the most famous words in motorsports, please welcome your Grand Marshal, multi-platinum selling artist and entertainer, Machine Gun Kelly. Drivers, start your engines! The engines have been fired, and we are ready to go racing for the All-Star Race. Your pace car driver tonight is Ron Dom. He will be driving in the 2019 Audi RS Spider. Now, remember, if you would like to be the pace car driver, make sure you find Terry's RV somewhere along this track. Now, I'll give you a hint. It's along the front straightaway. So, if you want to be it, be the first one to find Terry's RV. Now let's take a look at some of your race facts for tonight's All-Star Race. There are 10 cards in today's field. The Choose Cone will be in play for every race except the last lap of every stage. There will be 4 stages and the field will be inverted after every stage. Then 8 playoff points are up for grabs, 1 after the first 3 stages, and then 5 playoff points if you win the race. Now here is your starting lineup for Stage 1 of the All-Star Race in Row 1 is the three car of Austin Dillon and your reigning All-Star Race winner, Clint Boyer. In row two, in the 77 car, it is Ross Chastain. And right next to him in the 88 car is Alex Bowman. In row three, th your Daytona 500 winner in the 31 car is Daniel Hemrick. And your reigning NASCAR Athletics Hot Wheels Cup Series champion, Jimmy Johnson. Then in row four, is your stage one winner from the All-Star Open. It is Chase Elliott. And right next to him, in the sixth car, replacing Ryan Newman, winning stage two in the All-Star Open, it is Ty Dillon. Then rounding out of the field is the 35 car of Daniel Suarez, who won the All-Star Open, and your fan vote winner, Eric Almirola. And one lap in, we already have our first caution of either the All-Star Race and or the All-Star Open. It is Chase Elliott. 
man, this is going to be such a disappointment for Chase Elliott. Lap one, Rex out and will miss, will not be able to compete the rest of the race. And man, I don't know really what happened. It looks like Daniel Suarez may have gotten into the back of Chase Elliott. But either way, a tough break for Chase Elliott as he's going to be out of this all-star race early. Now let's take a look at your choose cone at results here. And it looks like it looks like Alex or Austin Dillon will move up to the high side along with Ross Chastain, and this could get interesting. Only two cars will be on the inside. Alex Bowman moves up three spots and Hemrick two spots to take the top two spots on the inside, while it will be Austin Dillon, Ross Chastain, and Clint Boyer on the high side. Austin Dillon holds his lead on lap two as he's able to get jump out of ahead of Alex Bowman and Ross Chastain is able to do the same thing. He will go back up to the high side and it looks like Clint Boyer and Jimmy Johnson will also join him. And it looks like Alex Bowman and Daniel Hemrick will also go to the low side. Let's check check here see if there are any violations at all. Um, I'm pretty sure they're not. Dylan did a good job. Ooh, Boyer might have been clean close. And it looks like Looks like Suarez is going to get a violation. We'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, it was just Daniel Suarez. Same two cars. Alex Bowman, Daniel Hemrick will be in the inside row. While Austin Dillon, Ross Chastain, Clint Boyer, and Jimmy Johnson on the high side with zero positions gained or lost. Austin Dillon going to hold his lead once again, but you're going to want to watch Ross Chastain if he hits this shoes cone. Dillon's going to choose the high side, and Ross Chastain goes low. It looks like Chastain is trying to go for that playoff point that will be awarded one lap for now to, at the end of stage one. As that could be a big difference as he doesn't have that pusher that he has. Looks like Jimmy Johnson will stay on the high side with Austin Dillon as Boyer Bowman will both be on the low side as Bowman's going to lose four spots but look at Trastain moving up three spots with one lap to go in stage one. That move is going to pay off for Ross Chastain as Ross Chastain will win stage one and gain one playoff point for his win. As he's gonna be, he was able to block Clint Boyer and Austin Dillon from passing him to get get that stage win. Now remember, he will the field will be inverted after the stage, so it looks like Ty Dillon will be leading the field for the beginning of stage two. So that could get interesting. As the stage one results are here, Chastain finishes first, Boyer second, Dillon third, Johnson in fourth, Alex Bowman fifth, Almarola sixth, Hemrick in seventh, Daniel Suarez eighth, and then Ty Dillon rounds out the field in ninth and will lead the field for stage two. And now we're ready for stage two to begin, with Ty Dillon and Daniel Suarez going to be leading the field down for stage two. Again, four laps, and then a playoff point will be awarded to the winner of stage two. Ty Dillon's able to hold the lead from Daniel Suarez and Daniel Hemrick to lead the lap here. So we'll just have to watch, and he might have a choose cone violation. I think we're going to have to go to the choose cone camera just to see. But it's going to be close for um, Ty Dillon as he's replacing Ryan Newman after Ryan Newman suffered a concussion at Northville. Ooh, that's going to be a choose cone violation. He's going to drop all the way to the back, and that means that Daniel Hemrick and Daniel Suarez will lead the field down with Hemrick moving up two spots, Johnson moving up two spots to be on the high side with Daniel Suarez, and with that choose one violation, Ty Dillon falls seven spots. Eric Almirola takes the lead from Daniel Hemrick and Daniel Suarez and will lead lap six of 16 as we'll take a look at the replay. Oh, it looks like Suarez might have clipped Hemrick, and Almirola might be hit with the choose cone violation. We'll just have to see here as we're going to go to the choose cone camera. And this could get interesting. Almirola was your fan vote winner at 100 votes, 20 votes more. And, ooh, I think he's going to be good. I don't think they're going to award a choose cone violation. though. We'll have to see. 
No, they will award a choose cone violation to our Eric Amarola and Alex Bowman. Both want to go to the tail end of the field, while Clint Boyer will be the only car in the inside lane with two laps to go in stage two. Clint Boyer tried his best to hold on with no help, but that outside lane had too much help power, and Daniel Hemrick was able to pass Clint Boyer to take the lead. Boyer was able to hold on to fourth, I believe. But let's take a look at the choose cone. There, we will have to see if there are any violations awarded to any drivers. As here they come. Uh, Hemrick looks good. Uh, I think everybody's clean. There might be one going to Alex Bowman, but I don't think so. Yeah, there's none going to be awarded. While Hemrick moves up one spot, Chastain and Almirola three spots, while Boyer and Johnson lose multiple spots. We have one lap to go in Stage 2. Austin Dillon's able to get around his teammate Daniel Hemrick and his co-somewhat of a teammate Daniel Suarez. So he just moves Suarez out of the way to get a pass on Daniel Suarez and Daniel Hemrick. A great job by Austin Dillon as he will gain a playoff point for winning stage number two, joining Ross Chastain as your driver's winning playoff points. That was a great job by Austin Dillon to get that stage win as he will be winning stage two. Alex, uh, Austin Dillon finishes first, Daniel Suarez second, Clint Boyer third, Daniel Hemrick fourth, Jimmy Johnson fifth, Ross Chastain finishes sixth, Eric Amarillo seventh, Ty Dillon eighth, and Alex Bowman ninth. But Alex Bowman will lead the field in stage three. And speaking of Stage 3, we are ready for Stage 3 to begin, with Alex Bowman going to be leading the field alongside Ty Dillon, then Eric Almirola and Chastain will be your top four drivers. Ty Dillon leads the lap, but there could be another choose cone violation going to Ty Dillon as well to see. But watch this run Ross Chastain gets. He, on the high side, he gets pushed up to the high side, and it looks like to pass for the lead, but Almirola gets into the side of him to slow his momentum down. Man, Chastain was coming in a hurry, and that must be why uh, Ty Dillon made the move up, and that might have cost him a juice cone violation. Yeah, I think it will. Actually, I think we'll have three. It looks like Jimmy Johnson and Daniel Hemrick crossed that cone, and yeah, it will be. Ty Dillon, Jimmy Johnson, and Daniel Hemrick all get called for juice cone violation. That means Alex Bowman is going to be leading the lap. With Eric Amarola leading on the outside. Alex Bowman able to hold on to the lead over Almirola and Clint Boyer after a dominant run here. It looks like Clint Boyer, who pushed Alex Bowman to that to the lead, is going to be given a choose cone violation, but we're not quite sure yet. Let's take a look here. Uh, yeah, that's probably going to be a choose cone violation, as there's going to be a lot of cars that are going to be on the outside, as, yeah, all the cars will be to the outside, except Eric Amarola. He will be the lone car on the inside, and we'll, we have two laps to go. We'll see how Eric Amarola can hold off the charging outside line. Eric Amarola did better than Clint Boyer did when he was the only car on the inside line, as he was able to contend at least for a top spot. As Alex Bowman was able to get around, he actually got spun around and finished the lap backwards, as he will be on the high side heading to one lap to go in stage three. So here's the choose cone. I don't I mean there might be a few, but ooh, uh, well, Hemrick looks like he's going to have a violation, but a close battle between Amarola and Dylan. As Dylan was able to get to get the spot over Almirola, and Clint Boyer and Jimmy Johnson move up four positions to be on the inside line, while Almirola loses four spots. We have one lap left in Stage Three. Alex Bowman is able to hold off Austin Dillon. Win stage 
three as Alex Bowman almost, or yeah, hold, holds off Austin Dillon as Austin Dillon was charging fast that lap. But I think Daniel Suarez finished last that lap, so I think he will lead the field. No, Daniel Hemrick will lead the field on the, in the final stage as he was the driver who finished last. So Alex Bowman wins stage three, gains one playoff point in first. Clint Boyer is going to finish second. Austin Dillon third. Ross Chastain finishes fourth. Eric Amarola fifth. Jimmy Johnson sixth. Ty Dillon seventh. Daniel Suarez in eighth. And Daniel Hemrick ninth. And Hemrick will lead the field in the final stage. We are now ready for the final stage. Stage four of four. Where five playoff points are up to grab for the winner of the race. With Daniel Hemrick and Daniel Suarez will lead the field down in the final stage. As who will win the all-star race. Daniel Hemrick leads the lot, but it's looked like he's going to get hit with a choose cone violation here. As, yeah, he's de probably is going to get called for a choose cone violation. It looks like t um, Ty Dillon will lead the field in the sixth car after this. Let's take a look at the replay here. Yeah, that's going to be a choose cone violation to the thir 31 car. And, yeah, he's going to be heading to the back of the field. With Ty Dillon going to lead the field, has he moved up two positions? Eric Amarola, two positions. Austin Dillon, two positions. And because of the violation, Hemrick loses six spots. Three laps to go. Ty Dillon's going to lead the lap, but it looks like he will also get hit with a choose cone violation, similar to how Daniel Hemrick's violation occurred. Yeah, he's going to get turned by... Daniel swore as the swerves was trying to make a pass on Ty Dillon, but that does not happen, and that's going to cause a violation on Ty Dillon. Yes, that will. Ooh, will we see one on Daniel Suarez? Looks like he came close to the cone. Did his other two tires go to the inside? We'll have to see. No, he did. They did not. So Eric Amarola is going to lead the field, moving up two spots, and Austin Dillon two spots behind him. While it will be just Suarez and Johnson on the high side with two laps to go left in the all-star race. Almirola is going to take the lead, or going to take the lead from Daniel Suarez on the high side. As, yeah, he's going to pass Daniel Suarez on that high side and will be leading on the outside, but Clint Boyer going to be leading on that inside line. So Stuart Haas' teammates going to be leading the field with one lap to go in the all-star race so here's the choose cone it looks like ty dillon will get hit with another choose cone violation and that will send him to the back of the field but now with one lap to go clint boyer up five positions with jimmy johnson and hemrick behind him on the outside it's almarola suarez dylan chastain bowman and ty dillon which driver will win the all-star race and gain five playoff points Daniel Suarez is going to win the All-Star Race in the North Star number 35 car. An incredible run. It looked like Clint Boyer was going to win it, but he ends up getting getting in an incident with his teammate Eric Almirola. And Ty Dillon, who came from the from no from the back, pushes Ty or Austin Dillon to the lead to win the All-Star Race. A heck of a performance for Daniel Suarez. Here are your final results. Daniel Suarez in the North Star 35 car finishes first. Ty Dillon replacing Ryan Newman in the six cars finishes second. Clint Boyer, the winner of last year's All Star race, third. Eric Amarola, fourth. Austin Dillon, fifth. Ross Chastain, sixth. Alex Bowman, seventh. Jimmy Johnson, eighth. Daniel Hemrick in ninth. And then Chase Elliott in tenth, who wrecked out lap one. Now it's time for the Danny's Donut Shop victory celebration as Daniel Suarez burns it down here at Charlotte. Daniel Suarez drives the wheels off the car for the North Star number 35 car and pulls the unpredictable and winning in the All-Star race. Remember, this car finished near the back of the pack in every race last season, and this season partnered with RCR and got an 11th place at Daytona, their best performance, and this is probably even better than a 
than their 11th place performance at Daytona. But a great job as Daniel Suarez is going to celebrate in the vic victory lane. As thank you so much for watching the All-Star Race. Next race will be the Coke 600 right here from the Charlotte Motor Speedway. And I'm A North, signing off.